What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video I'm going to unpackage some silver that I recently picked up. It's silver coins, I want to show you what I bought and talk about why I picked what I did. But also, I want to go over some tweets that Robert Kiyosaki recently put out there. He is calling for a crash, and he's also doubled down on his $500 silver prediction. So we're going to dive into that, let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so before we unpackage this silver, which I'm dying to do, first let's jump into the recent tweets that Robert Kiyosaki has put out there. Many of you know Robert Kiyosaki has been around for a long time talking about gold and silver and how you should get away from the dollar because it's just fake money. Uh, so so let's check out these tweets. The first one we're going to look at was posted on January 28th. Uh, he says, what is worse than a Great Depression, a global recession? Unfortunately, we are in global recession. Hang on. Rough landing for world bad news, bankruptcy, unemployment, homelessness, sore, retirements, toast, good news, bargains everywhere, gold, silver, Bitcoin, priceless now one thing i will point out is that robert kiyosaki he does like bitcoin he's into the cryptos or more specifically just bitcoin but i personally am not really into cryptos i think it's still the crypto casino there's a lot of counterparty risk so he does talk about bitcoin quite a bit uh, but he also talks about gold and silver and he thinks that you should be investing in gold and silver or at least transferring your fake dollars into real money right so buy gold buy silver this is something that he thinks you should do this is something that i think you should be doing as well now he does talk about you know us being in a global recession how unemployment's getting worse and he actually has another tweet where he uh addresses this uh more in detail so let's check out that one this tweet is more recent being posted on february 10th he says crash is here silicon valley first dominoes fall laying off 144,000 in 2022 66,000 more in 2023 valentine's day massacre predicted by stansbury research everything will crash including prices gold silver and bitcoin do not panic good news i will buy more gold silver bitcoin real money with fake dollars so he is predicting there's going to be a crash right so this recession that we're in it is a global recession uh but it's not really looking like recessions we've had in the past at least not yet and robert is saying we're starting to get there now he says valentine's day massacre right Nothing really crazy happened on Valentine's Day. Uh, however, it could be delayed a few days. Who knows? He is calling for everything to crash, including prices of gold, silver, and Bitcoin. Now, what I want to point out is that in the past, when we have seen the stock market dip dramatically, usually gold and silver prices and Bitcoin as well go down initially, but they bounce back very fast. So if we do see a crash, those low prices are not going to last very long long so definitely back up the truck he says good news i'll buy more gold silver bitcoin real money with fake money or fake dollars rather and uh yeah that's that's literally what you're doing you're taking your monopoly money us dollars it's just a fiat currency whatever you want to call it converting it into real money so let's look at one more tweet that he put out even more recently than this one so on february 12th he writes giant crash coming depression possible fed forced to print billions in fake money by 2025 gold at five thousand dollars silver at 500 and bitcoin at five hundred thousand why because faith in us dollar fake money will be destroyed gold and silver god's money bitcoin people's money take care so this is pretty interesting because he recently predicted silver would be at 500 dollars this year in 2023 in fact early in the year is what he had predicted that certainly is not the case i mean silver is what around 21 22 right now and so we're nowhere near that 
Uh, but also what's interesting to note is that if gold goes up to $5,000 an ounce uh, by the year 2025, that's not even a 3x gain for gold right? I mean, that's not that big of a gain. We've seen gains like that in the past. It's not that crazy. For silver to go from where it's at right now to $500 an ounce, that's like a 22, 23x gain in just a couple of years. That's a massive gain for silver. And uh, it's pretty similar for Bitcoin. From Bitcoin to go from where it's at now to 500,000, it's like a 22, 23x gain. So if you had to pick, you know, should I buy gold, silver, or Bitcoin right now, kind of the odd one out is gold. And I would not be buying gold right now because the gold-silver ratio really is leaning towards silver. I mean, certainly you can buy some gold. It's great to diversify. I have gold. I like owning gold. But I think silver is a better buy right now. And then between silver and Bitcoin, I obviously prefer silver. I think there's a lot of counterparty risk when it comes to Bitcoin. Uh, there's lots of regulation that could take place in the near future. And uh, honestly, I still think it's kind of just the crypto casino, right? So it's not really investing. It's not really safe. But silver is a great place to store your wealth. And so that's what I'm doing. Speaking of storing wealth in silver, let's go ahead and open up these silver coins that I recently picked up. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for these for a number of months, but really I've been waiting for them for a number of years. And once you see what they are, you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about. These are the type two silver Britannias for 2023. So if you remember the type one silver Britannias, those had Queen Elizabeth on them. And she is of course now deceased. And so King Charles is on the new type two silver Britannias. And uh, it's great to have a new face on the coins. It's been a long time coming. If we look at the back of the coin, we can see Britannia's on this side. It says 2023 up top. This is identical to the type one silver Britannia's. So no change on the reverse of the coin at all. Uh, but obviously there's a big change to the obverse because now we have King Charles on this side. So all in all, I think it's not a better design per se than the one with the queen on it. It is nice to have a new face, but honestly, I don't feel like it looks that great. I kind of wish they would have just thrown out the uh, uh, monarchs altogether, right? And just gone with uh, a dragon or something. <laughs> Obviously, I think that would be way cooler. But uh, either way, look, this is what we got. It's certainly better than what we had before. If we look at them side by side, I mean, to me, the queen was just... I don't know. She was on the coins for such a long time. A lot of us got annoyed with it. And uh, it seemed like every time I get a new silver coin, I could only look at half of it because the queen was on the other side. And it just, I don't know, it gets old after a while. And so I guess it's nice to have the king. It is a change of pace. But, you know, there would have been better options. So it is what it is. I think it certainly is an improvement, although just very slight improvement. And we're probably going to get really bored of Charles uh, really quickly here. So I'm sure in a few months or a few years, I'll be saying, come on, let's get someone new on these coins or whatever. But anyway, those were my pickups. Let me know what you think of the new Type 2 Silver Britannias. The reason I bought them is because they were on sale and I got a pretty good deal on them. And so I'm happy that I was able to pick them up. I ended up buying eight of them. Them simply because I needed to get the free shipping and you have to spend over $200 on most of these websites to get the free shipping. So all in all, I think it was a good purchase. I like to buy coins, rounds, bars, whatever's cheap or on sale. And these certainly were cheap and on sale when they were pre-sale. So I'm not sure what they're going for right now. I don't think they're going to be worth a lot of money in the future, but I'm happy I picked them up when I did. So anyway, let me know what you think about those tweets down below in the comment section that Robert Kiyosaki put out. I want to say thank you for watching my video, and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons, out.